Do you want to have a career building the hardware and software that will define virtual reality this decade, but don't know what to do? This is the video for you. I'll have another follow-up video coming later for the more indirect jobs, so subscribe and ring notifications if the careers here don't apply to you. Hello Virtual Dreamers, Gregory here. There are a few specific career paths that you can get that are very likely to contribute heavily to the future of virtual reality technology going forward. Whether that's building the machines we use to immerse ourselves, creating the software that we experience, or even doing the research that will bring about the next generations of VR beyond even the 2020s. With that cleared up, let's dive right into the topic at hand. If your goal is to build the hardware that we use to experience virtual reality, your goal should be to become some form of engineer or technician. If you don't know what that is, an engineer is a person who designs solutions to problems using technology. Basically, you're Iron Man. If you have a particular subject you're very into within engineering disciplines, specialization here would be pretty helpful. Like electricity? Go with electrical engineering. Like big machines? Become a mechanical engineer. Like cooking crystal meth? Become a chemical engineer instead, please. These are all very good specialist classes, but if you're looking for a study path that basically covers the whole package of VR, mechatronics and biomedical engineering are your two best choices. They both basically take the whole of all engineering disciplines and combine them into one. There's actually even a biomechatronics engineering path in some institutions that combines them even more. There are some subtle differences, but they're pretty similar overall. The biomedical aspect really just having more of a focus on medicine, while the mechatronics focuses more on robotics. Even in Sword Art Online, Kirito himself mentions his career of choice being mechatronics. So all my wanna be a real life Kirito when full dive comes out viewers out there, get to it. End of the day though, as long as your engineering of choice has a basis in electronics or computers of some form, your chances of getting into VR technology go up pretty greatly. Not every VR career needs to be so physically based though, and anyone who wants to have a role on the software side of things would be well served becoming a programmer, computer scientist, or digital artist of some kind. The virtual part of virtual reality is addressed here with the creation of games, simulations, and other applications that use hardware in meaningful ways. I'm particularly calling out the computer science and computer engineering majors here since they're among the most likely educational pursuits to push you towards learning how to program, which is a high demand, invaluable skill for many software companies, whether they be gaming focused or centered in other solutions. Programmers make computers do stuff, so any game logic, application behaviors, or data processing is basically their domain. If we look outside the traditional school environment though, honing your ability in graphics and sound design raises your odds of being involved in VR software studio pretty greatly as humanity is going to have to basically build out the virtual world from scratch and digital artists are gonna basically be the architects and construction workers of that creation. Digital artists, level designers, and things along those lines will definitely have an easier time getting in since anyone with a good PC can crack open Unity and get to making a VR game. Though I must still note, the programming path lets you do that while still giving you more security in terms of your career options. Follow your hearts here, but be smart about it. It is actually possible to get into VR in both these areas without even going to college after all. The final two fields of note here both fall under the scientific research category, neurology and physics. These are both slightly less direct in their potential to assist VR compared to the other two options, but are arguably the most important in the long run. Scientific research revolves around either crafting theories or conducting experiments to seek out knowledge and answer questions. For neurology, this involves doing experiments to try and understand how our brains and nervous systems work, while physics more broadly aims to try to understand the underlying nature of reality. In SAO, they actually wound up having Kayaba Akihiko, creator of Full Dive, be a physicist. So you can tell that it's not just me thinking more or less along these lines for this stuff. 
IRL though, neither of these is very likely to involve creating a solution like Full Dive or Holodex, since it's really more of a scientist's job to discover principles and properties, while engineers focus more on directly implementing what the scientists discover into products and solutions. That discovery part can't really be ignored though, and it's very often been the case that discoveries of scientists eventually end up being leveraged to make major advances in the future. I wouldn't really be doing much in electricity if guys like Ohm, Kirchhoff, Volta, Ampere, and Faraday didn't do all the work to figure out how electricity works in the first place. Did they know that their discoveries would lead to things like VR and smartphones? Probably not, but it did and we continue to fund scientific research because it's yet to stop giving us cool stuff in the long term. And with that, we've mostly covered it for the core jobs to look into if you want to get into VR. But I do have some important things to point out here, since getting into VR won't be as simple as getting a degree or a skill and rolling with it. While having a degree in the subjects above or being very good at the skills pointed out definitely increases the odds of getting into the virtual reality field, it's not a guarantee, and the reality is that the VR market still remains a tiny place. Competition to get into positions at the few big companies present can be heavy, and you're going to need to make sure you stand out above the pack if you're going to get in. Even if you do get in, though, it's not a guarantee that things will go smoothly. Game development isn't always the most profitable business, particularly in a medium like VR that has such a small installer base to sell products to. And insofar as the research careers are concerned, it has to be understood that it often takes a while before things can make the jump from the lab to store shelves, and that it's likely that work done in these fields won't yield noticeable impacts on the industry for years if not decades to come. This isn't a pick the right character build and win kind of game. You've still got to put in your work and skill to make your mark. At the end of the day though, you should still remember that all of the careers mentioned here have a lot of potential to bring you a lot closer to working in VR than you may currently be, and I think there are other benefits to note here as well that should influence your decision. VR, while currently small, is a growing industry with a lot of potential and connections in other fields that are already fairly lucrative. Even if you don't get a VR job right out of training or school, this doesn't mean you'll never get in, and the odds are your experience gained outside will directly improve your efforts to get into the industry later. With most of these jobs too, there's a good amount of money to be made here, and while I know that a lot of you don't want to hear this bit of advice, it helps your career and passion a lot to not be broke, and you'll be able to help others a whole lot more when you're not too busy trying to help yourself. The biggest thing I want to note here though, is that VR still remains an unknown frontier. There are likely jobs and career paths for VR that people haven't even imagined or considered yet. People are making money on character skins in VR chat, on creating 3D assets for personal VR worlds, on creating software for enterprise companies, and on becoming virtual YouTubers. The job you may end up having in VR may not even currently exist yet. Think about it. In just the last few decades, some of the most lucrative jobs around, social media managers, Twitch streamer, YouTuber, web developer, these are all careers that didn't exist for the boomer generation that now define the newer generations. So long as you keep a passion for what you do and do what you can to better it, the odds are good you'll find some way to get a career in what you're looking for. So in the end, the careers I mentioned before are the ones most likely to get you a job in VR or to get you skills that'll get you into it. Like many things in life, this likely won't be an easy journey and you'll face plenty of obstacles on your way. But if you have a passion for what you want and you try to go about things reasonably enough, I'm sure that you'll find a way to get where your heart wants you to be. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, share, and subscribe to get more content and to help appease my glorious YouTube algorithm sama. Till next time, my fellow adventurers and dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.